I know something you don't know. How you guys doing? Chris Ignato here. You're watching Nature Now. So this video is about one of the largest dragonflies in my region. It is called the Swamp Darner. Have a look. The Swamp Darner is a really cool dragonfly. They can reach lengths of almost four inches, and that's not including their wingspan. Key characteristics are those giant blue eyes, a reddish brown base color complete with lime green stripes and bands along their body. Another characteristic of swamp darners are those prominent claspers at the end of their tail. Their range covers most of the eastern United States as far north as Ontario. Believe it or not, male swamp darners are not that very territorial. In fact, if food is plentiful, you'll find many of them hunting in a small area. In some cases, you'll even see them forming somewhat of a swarm to capitalize on those food supplies. These dragonflies love to inhabit shady ponds, swamps, and slow-moving streams, often within a woodland habitat. They're a lot of fun to watch them in flight, whether it's close to the ground or high up in the sky hunting for food, which is often larger insects such as bees and even other dragonflies. The swamp darners are a migratory species of dragonfly, along with other darners, although we don't know a whole lot as to what triggers that migration. You know, it could be weather, it could be the temperature, length of day, or other various factors. Although these insects are active April all the way through to November, for me, the best times of year to see them are June, July, and August. Cool dragonflies, aren't they? I usually only see swamp darners around the water's edge laying eggs and riding wood. Other than that, they just fly right by. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Once again, I'm Chris Ignato, signing out. Hey guys, I want to say something really quick before this video is over. You may or may not know, but unfortunately back on July 29th, Grant Thompson, the host and creator of The King of Random, passed away in a paragliding accident. Now, his channel was a great channel with many, many very unique videos. And Grant's enthusiasm and charisma is something that's going to be sorely missed in the YouTube community and from all of us viewers. You know, it was just, his, his passion was contagious. So Grant, Godspeed to you. We're gonna really miss you. And I also wanna pass my condolences on to his family and loved ones left behind in this world. The only nurturing thing I can really say is at least he went doing something he loved. And uh, you know, his channel is going to continue the vision and passion uploading more videos in the future with co-hosts Nate Bonham and Callie Gade. And as you may or may not know, Nate was a great friend of uh, Grant Thompson's and had showed up in some of his videos in the past. So, you know, good luck to the future of the channel. And uh, Grant, we're gonna really miss you. So thanks a lot guys for letting me say this and uh, Godspeed Grant.